Crispy, thank you so much. Coming up on 806 Now, Greenville's very own Reedy Reels Film Festival. It kicks off tonight. Yeah, it's an event that gives people a glimpse of the world through someone else's eyes. Myra Ruiz is live to give us some more details on it. Well, good morning. We are outside the South Carolina Children's Theater, which will actually become a movie theater this weekend as festival goers have a chance to view a choice, a wide selection of films that were submitted. Now, the film committee actually had to choose between 144 different submissions to uh, narrow it down to 55 that they will feature during this festival. It won't be possible to actually watch all of them because there are multiple sessions per day, so festival goers would have to choose specific movies that are being shown during each session, uh, the ones that they want to see. Now, one of the documentaries that will be played here this weekend focuses on the World War II vets who served in Normandy. And the man who made this film will actually be spending more time in the upstate after the festival. He's interviewed over a thousand, and he's made this neat film called uh, They Don't Die Twice. Once you, when you actually die, and the second time when people forget about you. So he's made a film honoring three veterans that died during the war and the French families that take care of the graves. And we'll actually have a chance to speak to the historian and filmmaker who, who created They Won't Die Twice later this morning. Now, festival goers go go will also have a chance to attend some of the breakout sessions where filmmakers will discuss their submissions and also sessions about uh, making movies. So a lot to do here besides watching the films. You would have to pay, uh, the fee is $12 per, se or per viewing. So for each movie, it'll cost you $12, or you can buy weekend passes, which uh, uh, range from 40 to 90 dollars reporting live in greenville my river Ruiz, fox carolina news